Taylor Swift haters are back. We're gonna once again take a look at the most angry, hateful Taylor Swift critics and listen to what they have to say. Let's just try our best to understand them here. Taylor Swift is the most overrated artist of this generation. She cannot dance, she cannot sing, she can just make bops. And all of that sh is produced by her writers. All that smoke you guys had for Drake having ghostwriters, put that shit to Taylor Swift. <laughs> I don't disagree. Okay, let's look at one of Taylor's most recent number one hits, Anti Hero. It was written by only her and her longtime producer Jack Antonoff obviously it's just them two in the same studio electric lady studios in particular working on almost every project alone sometimes they'll bring in collaborators to help them write but you won't see this for example you brought up Drake I'll bring up Drake this is his most recent viral song it's number one on his Spotify look how many fucking writers there are man like come on I love Drake but this is literally every Drake song too his popular song Jimmy cooks with 21 savage that went so hard I loved it 15 fucking writers 15 while a song like cardigan was written by just taylor and her producer aaron desner that's all taylor needs her pen and her producer if you're gonna come after her don't come after her writing that is her number one strength we all know it that, that michael jackson comp was crazy that too bro with her <laughs> get out of here the funniest shit about that dance if you look in the background there is some uncoordinated white girl in the background trying to copy the dance and it looks just as cringy yes. as taylor doing it this shit is fun it's a girl in the back trying to do the art Okay, that's funny. But to call her an overrated artist because of her dancing and her writing, which you made a completely false claim about, is just embarrassing. Someone commented about Taylor's music and said, same flow, same lyrics, same topics. That is all very untrue, but a guy named Adam replied, me listening to the lakes because I thought it was picture to burn. That is iconic, Adam. Thanks for the help clapping back at these people one at a time. So I've disliked Taylor Swift for a very long time. I just never felt comfortable enough to voice it because I know that I'd be called misogynistic. Before you say anything, no, it's not because I'm a fucking football nerd. There are plenty of reasons to think that she's absolutely terrible. First off, her carbon emission footprint is, is, is massive. And it's because she has a private jet, but instead of using it for like private jet things, she uses it to run her daily errands. Okay, not defending private jet usage at all, but simply look at the stats of the top 50 celebrities who emitted the most carbon emissions in 2023, which Taylor didn't make. She's not on this list, even though she's the biggest artist in the world who just went on a sold out tour last year. But that's besides the point. Look at this list and tell me exactly why you're not keeping the same energy and getting mad at any of these celebrities. Like what about Travis Scott, Kim Kardashian? What does she do? Taylor had the heiress tour. Kim doesn't even do shit, I don't think. There's Beyonce, Bill Gates, Kylie Jenner. I understand holding Taylor accountable and I'm not defending private jet usage once again, but just keep the same energy for the people on this list. That's all I'm asking. People only pick on Taylor because she's an easy target. He is literally the poster child of white feminism. Anytime somebody levels a very valid criticism of her, she then throws up the shield of, oh, look at, look at what's happening. This is such an affront to women's rights. When really it's like, nah, you're just, you're just a fucking terrible billionaire, dog. Little kids been getting preyed on from AI chronography images. But that shit happened to her one time when we got Congress over here trying to push some legislation. So you're mad at Taylor Swift for being the reason that the government's finally taking action against AI pornography? Are you fucking stupid? For context, some guy made some inappropriate fake AI generated images of Taylor and spread these gross photos all over the internet. The reason the White House is finally taking action is because this is the most viral case of AI corn, I'll say. Because millions of people opened Twitter one day and saw these same gross images that someone made of Taylor. I wish action was taken before and and it really sucks that we needed a horrible event like this to finally decide it's time to take action. But you're getting mad at Taylor Swift for fake images of her getting leaked and the White House finally deciding it's time to take action. And she herself didn't call on the government to take action, although she should have. The White House did this all themselves. They saw this shit happening and urged Congress for a legislative crackdown. And I doubt they're even going to do shit. People get mad at Taylor for anything. Okay, we got a Reddit meme. Taylor in a boardroom saying, I need a new song. A guy suggesting breakup. Someone suggests saying all men suck and a guy asking something with meaning question mark and Taylor kicking that guy out. Okay, here we go again. I made this point in my first video, but I'll gladly do it again. There's this is me trying, which is about the feeling of disappointment from the everyday struggle of someone suffering with addiction or mental illness. There's you're on your own kid, which is about growing distant from people and learning how to become more self-reliant. There's Marjorie, which is a song about her honoring her late grandmother Marjorie. I guess that song has no meaning either. Do these lyrics have no meaning to you? 
or these or these. I don't know. Maybe you're just incompetent or deaf, honestly. It has to be one of those. Cool spirit, motherfucker. Alpha step, sigma step. Alpha step, omega step. Okay, uh, music subjective, but I just saw the name of the person who posted this, and it's Graham Loves Kanye. Kanye is a sad and trash human being who makes ass music, hasn't had a decent album since 2016, but even that album required him to bring a woman down who just ended up becoming a thousand times more successful than he'll ever be in life. Feel free to argue with me on that. Moving on. I just have to hammer this because it's the end of the week. Don't be mad at me. You are going to be mad at me. You're always mad at me. I just never got to this like, stop, leave me alone. And he's just a 15 year old girl. She's not. She acts like a child and nothing frustrates me more than the fact that she plucks up girls like they're Barbie dolls and she's just collecting them and pretend to their best friends. And so now, obviously, Taylor has instantly become best friends. It's so easy to become best friends. You just to meet somebody and then you're just like a puppy and you love each other instantly at the age of 34. And you have no questions. And her and Brittany Mahomes are now best friends because Brittany Mahomes, oh my God, that's so funny. You're dating someone on the team too? Oh yeah, I'm actually married to the star quarterback, Patrick Mahomes. Uh, getting mad at an adult for making friends. So Candace Owens is the latest far-right conservative commentator that is using Taylor's name since it's a hot, trendy topic right now for clout. She is obsessed with Taylor. She just made a video titled this is why black women don't like taylor swift just last week she made videos about her in the past for candace taylor gets you clicks taylor pays your rent with all that money you're earning just by using her name in your titles and in your videos so don't act like you hate her i'm also sensing a slight bit of jealousy maybe taylor swift was caught on camera when the camera panned to her she chugged some beer and the internet was divided on this you know is this acceptable should she be encouraging people to chug beer in the stands I'm gonna defend Taylor here because personally, I'm just glad that we've moved on from her cosplaying a teenager and now she's at least cosplaying somebody that's in college. Take a look. I will forever remind people that Taylor Swift is a 34-year-old woman. She's the same age as me. Exactly, Candace. She's a 34-year-old woman, not a teenager. She is a full-grown adult at a football game. That is the perfect place to chug beer. If Taylor was a 21-year-old girl, Candace would still be saying, oh, she's so young, she shouldn't be doing that. When will this piece of shit woman ever be happy? I don't think she ever will, honestly. I have videos that should definitely be taken off the internet because I don't think I've ever cringed harder. Guys, look out ask you a riddle. If I told you that a 34-year-old woman got together with a 28-year-old woman, what, what would you think they would do hanging out? Now you might be thinking, oh, maybe they'll have some wine and talk about their problems. Okay, age appropriate, I'll give it to you. You might be thinking, well, I, maybe they both have kids. Maybe they're getting their kids together for a play date. Yeah, go ahead. I'll give it to you. What you are definitely not thinking is that they got together and came up with a secret handshake complete with a hip bump because that's simply not the way 34-year-old women behave. Unless you're Taylor Swift, who I've been pointing out is cosplaying. Oh my God. What the fuck? You're getting mad that Taylor Swift made a handshake with her friend. How miserable of a person do you have to be to get pissed off by a handshake? Saying that's not how adults should be acting, you're an adult still acting like a high school bully. So check yourself. Rant must be fucking due for her, man. I can't. She's totally insane. Yeah. Like, she's the most toxic feminist that's ever existed. And at what she does is basically the threat is that if she doesn't get what she wants, she writes a song about a guy and then has 15 million girls singing the songs and drops little clues so they know who it's about. I mean, it's totally psychotic if you but, really think about wait, it. Was, I don't think you appreciate how there's psychotic no, that is, that you can't no date her for two weeks without her writing a song about you. I mean, what she did to John, May John Mayer as John well, Mayer, he was yeah. like, I literally did nothing to her. Like we went on one date and yeah. I didn't deserve this. I've said this before, but if you act like an asshole, don't be surprised when someone makes a song about you being an asshole. And Taylor was 19 when she dated John Mayer and wrote that song about him. John was 32. There was a controversial 12 year age gap, which was weird. Taylor was a kid and wrote a song about him. You're getting mad at something she did when she was 19 in 2009. Get over yourself. I also can't imagine having to live a life where my work is bringing people down every day. That would suck to have that be my life's purpose. So I do feel slightly sorry for this bitter woman. I can honestly make a full video reacting to all of Candace Owens' attacks on Taylor, so comment down below if you'd want that. But moving on, we got a tweet. Imagine you win the Super Bowl, and now you gotta go home and clap this. This was super viral. I hate this new era, I guess, of men thinking it's okay to body shame, let alone even comment on other women's bodies. And these are obviously super old photos, so the fact that the guy had to do research and find photos of Taylor and save them to 
to his phone is already fucking creepy. And then he made a tweet about it to get some cash because Twitter pays creators now. This is corny, not funny, and disgusting. And a woman quote tweeted this saying, I don't support the body shaming of women, but Taylor Swift is such a horrible person, I don't give a fuck, LMFAO. Well, you said you don't support body shaming, but still went on to support a tweet body shaming a woman. Hey, go fuck yourself. I don't know what else to say. Let's not give body shamers too much attention. So moving on. Get ready with me while I tell you guys why I think Taylor Swift is the most overrated artist ever and can't write any good songs. Oh, so the whole video is silent, I'm assuming. See, that's funny. And these are the hate videos that I should really be reacting to. Taylor Swift is threatening to sue Jack Sweeney. Taylor Swift is threatening legal action against a student who tracks her jet. Jack Sweeney is a student at the University of the Central Florida. Jack runs an account online where he tracks the private jets and helicopters of oligarchs, politicians, and celebrities. Most recently, he started tracking Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift and her legal team are trying to say that Jack is putting her and her family under mental distress and what he's doing is considered stalking, even though the information that he's tracking is public record. You can tell by the language her legal team is using that they are presenting her as the perpetual victim. I think this has less to do with Taylor Swift feeling unsafe and more to do with the fact that she doesn't want us to talk about her carbon emissions. Taylor Swift emits 14 times as much carbon as the average American household, according to the U.S. Energy Information Administration. With all this information, it just seems that Taylor Swift is trying to control the optics around this situation. I don't think there's any way that she actually feels threatened by Jack and his actions. You are, you are stupid. You are a stupid person. The account is literally called Taylor Swift Jets and it's dedicated to stalking her. He tweets out, she just took off from LA. She's gonna get to New York at 1.26 p.m. Who needs to know that? No one needs to know that. Stop acting like this stupid kid is a climate activist who's trying to spread awareness about pollution. He's not. This is the same fucking kid in a private jet spreading pollution. People are saying, oh, he's an innocent college kid. No, he's not. He's been stalking and tracking jets for years in hopes of gaining wealth and flying on his own private jets. He told Elon Musk he'd delete his Elon Jets account only if Elon paid him $50,000. Because guess what? He was threatening Elon's safety too. And Taylor Swift has been stalked so many times since she was a teenager, including last month when a stalker of hers was arrested three times in five days. He would get arrested for stalking and less than an hour after he was bailed out of jail, he would show up at Taylor's house again. Going to Taylor's house immediately after jail is crazy. And needless to say, she is scared for her safety and doesn't need a guy live tweeting her jet paths and arrival times. That's stupid. All right, well, that's all I really have for now. That was craziness. I try to tackle more of the trendy complaints rather than the music complaints that I argued against in the first video. If you haven't watched that yet, I'll link it down below. But yeah, I love you all. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Later.